Let's see if we can get her started this morning. Got some new stuff there for the truck. Got another new part here. But what we're gonna do, give her the old test and see if she will fire up. I got a new piece for the truck here. It's a fuel shutoff solenoid relay. It's the relay that's for it. Um, we're gonna see if that'll fix our issue today with the starting thing. Let's see if it'll, let's see if it'll, I'm not gonna pop the hood and lift the little fuel shutoff lever and we're gonna see if it just starts up on its own or if it, or if it won't so I can show you what it's doing. Well, it actually started up, so it's not very good on demonstration purposes. Well, let's get this hood popped here. Take a look under there and see what we're going to be trying to deal with here. And those of you who don't know what I'm going to be talking about here, it is my fuel shut off solenoid. And basically the fuel shutoff solenoid is right here, but there's a, anyways, there's some relay. I gotta figure out which one it is, but there's a relay that runs up to it. And I'm assuming it is, anyways, there's a fuel shutoff solenoid relay, the relay that goes to it, which is this right here. And basically what that does is these, what happens is these can go bad and become faulty to where there's no more power, proper power being ran to the shutoff solenoid itself. Uh, fuel shutoff solenoid itself and so basically that can uh, screw with your fuel shutoff solenoid and keep it from being able to function properly to get the truck started every single time or it can sometimes even you know randomly kick off your fuel supply or you know whatever and make the truck stall on you but i haven't had that happen mine's only done it to where it won't lift the lever when you go to start it um, but it always like it it never has any issues while driving it because that's what we're going to be doing now there is another part that i'm waiting actually there's a handful of parts I'm waiting on to come in but um, I'm run, I'm waiting on the actual solenoid itself so if this is not the issue um, then we are going to know within the next couple of days driving the truck starting it up if the truck because usually every every other start the truck will do it um, to where it won't fully start it'll just keep on running the key and not smoke or nothing like it's not like getting fuel it's just the starters just running and nothing's actually happening so um, we're gonna know within the next couple of days while waiting on the other part whether or not this is the issue if this is the guy causing the problem or if the actual solenoid itself is what's causing the issue for the truck not being able to start so that's what we're gonna get into I just got to really quick figure out which of those parts is this one right here that needs to be replaced and then I will get right back with you guys okay so here's what I got here's the relay already showed you that um, and I believe I just disconnected this little part here and I kind of followed this fuel shutoff thing connected here goes up there goes connects back up to here up to that whatever um, and this looks like the part that we're trying to replace this is it right here if I'm not correct then I'm about to screw something up but I'm pretty sure that's it so we're gonna get to that and hopefully I can get that taken care of Okay, so replacing uh, one of these relays is actually way easier than I thought it was. Apparently, you don't even have to take that old thing off because this doesn't connect to anything. All you do is you can plug that into there, um, into this connected piece right here where you unplug it from that one. And basically all it's doing is uh, recirculating power back to the battery to get the connection to actually get the thing to start. So all we need to do is we can actually leave that there, um, which you don't have to. You can take it off if you want. It's not really doing anything there. I'm gonna actually take this and zip tie up to the wiring harness right there to hold it up out of the way. But other than that, that's really all it's doing. So basically all we're gonna do is take our relay here, plug it into here, make sure it clips in there. And then what you can do is just run it around the uh, this wiring harness up here. Run it through right there. It'll work. And run that pretty much just like that to keep it held up out of the way. You take this right here, clip off the extra, should be good to go. And I'm not entirely sure if this is actually the part that is causing the issue. It could be the fuel shutoff solenoid itself. 
um, but we don't know that for sure yet, but you know, we're about to find, well, we're not about to find out. We'll find out within a couple of days because like I said, we got this connected up here now, but um, like I had said, you know, it's usually like every other time I go out to start the truck, sometimes it, you know, it'll start right up just fine on its own. And other times, you know, the key will just, the starter will just run and run and run and the problem will never get resolved. And so resulting in, you know, just having to go out there, lift a lever and then, uh, you know, just doing that by hand, which isn't a huge deal, but it's just a little bit, you know, a little bit of an inconvenience, you know, and I definitely don't want to be doing that same thing every time, you know, I have to go out and start my truck all winter. So, um, like I said, not going to know for sure because, um, it might just do it on its own or it might not, but I mean, we'll find out after driving it a few days here, whether or not, um, that fixed it or didn't, but either way, Either way, we have the new fuel shutoff solenoid coming in as well. If this does resolve the issue and I don't have another problem, I won't replace it. I'll just leave the new one in my glove box in case I need it with a couple tools. Um, but uh, basically, if that start, if that solenoid's working just fine, I'm not gonna, you know, waste my time installing the new one and just wasting a good part. Oh, well, started up just fine. But like I said, guys, I don't know if that was the actual issue or not, but I mean, it definitely worked that time around. So let's just say for now, we fixed the solution to the problem that killed the Cummins, I guess you could say. And uh, as of now, I'm a happy camper. We're gonna find out, I, like I said, I've already said this several times, almost too many times, but we're gonna find out within the next couple of days whether or not that was a you know solution to the problem or if we just happened to get lucky and it started up when we happened to replace that but even though it was you know the solenoid all along so i guess like i said we'll find out in a couple of days and i'll definitely let you guys know as videos go on whether or not this was the solution to the problem or not i'm going to continue this video back in the barn here where it's at least a little bit quieter but guys i just want to let you know i do also have my exhaust tip coming for the um truck i'm not entirely sure what i want to try out first i might do it just out the back like this one here on the first gen let me show you here if you haven't seen the first gen yet we got an eight inch tip on the first gen i might do it like i did on the first gen for my truck at first give it a couple days if i want to switch it up might go to the axle dump might run it as an axle dump for a month or two then i probably want to go to a stack a dual set of dual either six or eight inch stacks behind the passenger side on my truck um, I think it look really sweet. I think it sound cool. And as much as I drive the truck, like to be honest, I have a trip coming up. But right now, all I do is I pull it from the front of my drive to the back of my drive to work on the truck. Because that's, I mean, that's mostly all I do. And then when I have to go get diesel, I just go get diesel. But uh, for the most part, I don't do tons of driving. So guys are like, oh no, dude, like don't do that. You're going to get terrible drone noise. You're going to get this, you're going to get that. I'm not really, like, it's not, I don't really care. Like, it's not like... I'm going to totally steer away from getting what I want on my truck because I'm worried about a little bit of cab noise. Like this isn't a truck that I take on long trips every day of the week or I drive every single day daily, you know, on a commute or something. I legit just use this as my, well, it's my truck just for driving when I need to, but it's pretty much just a project built. So I just want to get it where I want it and go from there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's definitely going to be a lot of videos coming up on the truck. I will catch you guys in the next video if you can please leave me a like on the video, leave a comment below, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Going day to day, but I know it takes time and I'm patiently waiting, sometimes I contemplate, cause one day you feel so close and the next is out of sight, but I know I gotta hold on tight to go back to just going out every night, like if I'm about to let it go now, I can live alright, live a normal life, do a 9 to 5, but I know I'm more than that, I gained this skill, wasn't born with that, at the end of the life, it's a memory, and I wanna know how to remember me.